Well, like we've said, today is a completely different day than yesterday. Not only are we not seeing any precipitation out there, we're also seeing some lighter winds. Here's a current look at wind speeds. You can see mainly in uh, the single digits, though slightly stronger as you head down towards North Bend, but nothing too significant. Uh, you did see earlier that wind gust at uh, Cape Fowler of 74 miles per hour. Yahats also had a wind gust of 61 miles per hour and even Newport 48 miles per hour out there. That was all yesterday, but today a much different story. Now temperatures were sitting in the 50s along the coast, 55 in Newport, 56 in Florence, still 60 though, that, though down towards North Bend. Heading in, then we have some 60s out there though, Cottage Grove uh, now at 59 degrees and now towards Central Oregon in the 40s right now, 40 at Odell Lake, even 47 degrees in the pine and that's where we are all headed as we head later into the evening hours. Now, uh, looking at radar, you can see not much going on. We do have a few clouds out there. We've had them uh, throughout the day, sometimes looking a bit ominous. Maybe you did pick up a light sprinkle, but nothing too significant. Most of the rain has stayed to our north today. As we take a wider look across the state, you can see those showers mainly north of Portland all the way up towards Seattle and even some mixed precip in there as you get into the Cascades in Washington. But nothing for us to worry about. We are going to stay dry as we head into the evening and overnight hours and for the next two days because high pressure is in control of our weather, bumping up that jet stream to our north. Uh, but it will stay in control only for the next two days because as we move into Friday and Saturday, we're looking at another storm system uh, to still out well into the Pacific Ocean. This is going to move through as we head into the end of the week and the weekend. But then we're going to have a slight break before an even stronger system moves on through. But otherwise, along the coast tomorrow, highs will be in the upper 50s, low 60s. We'll start off with some fog and some clouds, but switch to sun in the afternoon. Notice winds light out of the northeast, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, as we head into Thursday, we keep things partly sunny, but there's those showers scattered on Friday, isolated on Saturday. Slight break on Sunday, but then another stronger system uh, is approaching our area as we head into Monday and Tuesday. It's looking to be another significant rain event. Also, some very windy conditions uh, are expected. Umqua Basin, mid 60s tomorrow we'll start off with some clouds and some fog but also decreasing clouds throughout the day uh, mostly sunny on Thursday highs will be near 70 degrees but those showers move in and also bring some cooler temperatures as we head into the weekend for the Cascades 50s over the passes mid 60s in the foothills mostly sunny skies tomorrow just light went out of the northeast central Oregon highs will be in the upper 50s near 60 a sunny day tomorrow and also on Thursday also approaching 70 degrees on Thursday but then we'll pick up the clouds Friday and Saturday maybe an isolated chance for a sprinkle but a better chance as we head into next week on Monday and Tuesday. For the Valley, low 60s, starting off with some fog and clouds, but switching to sunny conditions in the afternoon. Morning fog on Thursday as well, but then we also see those showers return Friday and Saturday. Slight break on Sunday, but then that next strong system moves through as we head into next weekend. So guys, kind of a flip-floppy pattern. Mm -hmm. And if you like the dry weather, just take in the next two days. If you want that rain back, you just have to wait to the end of the week.